Uh, question six, um, a question that really makes you think, and you must draw a diagram here to outline everything that's going on. So we've got a square and a rectangle, and uh, the square obviously equal in length um, and also equal to the short side of the rectangle. So I've immediately given my square of side x and the short side of the rectangle of side x as well. For now, I'm going to call the longer side y. Um, I don't like this because I'd prefer everything to be in terms of x, but some information later on might help us. And uh, initially, if we just look at perimeters, uh, we can see immediately that uh, from the question that the perimeters of the two shapes is equal to 80. But I also know the perimeters of the two shapes in terms of x and y are, well, for the square, 4x, and for the rectangle, 2x plus 2y. However, these can be equated to give us an equation. 80 is equal to 4x plus 2x plus 2y. So 80 is equal to 6x plus 2y. And we can see by uh, rearranging, taking 6x off both sides and then dividing through by 2, that in fact uh, our longer side of the rectangle is equal to 40 minus 3x. Now, the only bit of information we haven't yet used is that the area of the square and rectangle together is 198. So my next stage would be to then uh, equate the areas. So um, the areas I know equal 198. And I also know the area of the square is x squared. And the area of the rectangle is x brackets 40 minus 3x length times width. Um, so if I now equate these, I should generate a, a quadratic. So 198 is equal to x squared. Uh, expand the bracket, 40x minus 3x squared. Um, rearranging, uh, well, I've got um, minus 2x squared on the right-hand side, so I'm going to add 2x squared to both sides as I go along. Um, minus 40x plus 198 equals 0. Um, I can immediately divide through by 2, give me x squared minus 20x, uh, plus 99 is equal to 0. And at first glance, you'd think um, there's no way that's going to factorise until you realise that 99 is an 11 times table and it's 11 nines, which adds up to 20 or has a difference to 20. Um, so I'm going to have x and x and minus 11 and minus 9 equals 0. So that means that x can take values of 11 or 9. And if you remember, we had to work out the length of the rectangle. Well, length of the rectangle was initially y, which was now 40 minus 3x. So substituting in when x is 11, we have 40 minus 33, which is in fact 7. And when x is 9, we have 40 minus 27, 3 9 is 27, which is in fact 13. Happy days.